Tonight, a 10 on your side success story that's wrapped around a taking back the community story. Yesterday, we told you about a community center in Portsmouth that will receive a $170,000 donation from the new casino. The bad news? A more than $300,000 grant was stalled because of apparent inaction in Portsmouth City Hall. That's where 10 on your side jumped into action. So when you called me, um, uh, Ms. Mobley, it was really important for me to find out what was going on. Outside the Wesley Community Service Center, poverty, crime, and despair are on display. Inside, decades of neglect are on display. Ten on your side called Mayor Shannon Glover Tuesday after we learned a federal grant was on stall at City Hall. We're still waiting on a grant to be signed by the city manager. And just like that, it was a done deal. The grant was signed for a $312,634 grant. Work begins soon to build a Head Start program and a program for teens. It is great news that comes too late for many families. How many people whom you personally know or you know their parents have been killed since you were sworn in as mayor? You know, it's too numerous to count for me. And if it's one, it's too many. City leaders have walked. Gun violence robs each of us of our greatest resource, our people. And they have prayed. Glover's inspiration is writing on the wall. Don't ever stop. Keep going. If you want a taste of freedom, keep going. And so that's what motivates me every day. I want a taste for freedom for all of our people, all of our young people. I want them to have an opportunity for success and achievement and a better quality of life. The Head Start program is due to open this fall, and the teen program could open in the spring of next year. Ten on your side will keep you posted on the progress.